As we enter the year 2022, we are forced to elevate our overall mindset, as our experiences with the pandemic have directed us towards developing a more practical outlook on the world around us. Naturally, we expect our leaders to do the same, and approach politics from a more pragmatic and direct perspective. The global nature of the pandemic, shows us that our problems of 2022 are global, and therefore, require leaders who can develop universal policies, and administer global affairs. As a candidate for head of state of Jamaica, Tereno Beckford intends on using this video presentation to demonstrate his potential to govern not just domestic affairs, but international relations as well. With that being said, here are 10 policies that Tereno Beckford has planned for the international community. Number 1. Nuclear Repurposing and Disarmament. Tereno Beckford will lead a global effort to disarm the world of its extremely destructive nuclear weapons, before the circumstances arise where these weapons are used to irreversibly damage the planet we depend on to survive. The current global nuclear stockpile will be repurposed for planetary defense, and will be used to protect Earth from potentially destructive asteroids or hostile extraterrestrial organisms, in case such an unlikely outcome ever threatens our continued survival on planet Earth. Number 2. Advancing Water Filtration Technology. Tereno Beckford will assemble the global experts in science and engineering, and encourage them to develop sophisticated water filtration technology, in order to harness fresh drinkable water from the ocean, and also develop methods of transporting it to those in need. Our planet is made up of predominantly oceans, and so, the impending fresh water shortage can be addressed by using filtered ocean water, to supply the world's ever-growing demand for drinking water. The current water filtration technologies are inadequate, and pose a threat to the stability of marine habitats, and therefore, the best minds are needed to remedy this shortcoming. Number 3. Advancing Global Food Security. Tereno Beckford will develop a practical and workable strategy, for meeting the needs of the starving and the nutritionally deprived people of the world. He plans on organizing a global effort, to provide emergency food supplies to the starving populations of the world, while developing sustainable infrastructure like fresh water sources, farms, education and sources of employment, so that these vulnerable populations can eventually be in a position to help themselves. The reality is that, we cannot be considered to be a civilized species, until starvation is eliminated and food becomes abundant and accessible to all. Number 4. Reforming the UN's Peacekeeping Apparatus. Tereno Beckford will submit suggestions on how to reform the United Nations, to be better able to prevent and de-escalate military conflicts, in order to prevent any major military conflicts from developing, or sustaining itself without practical intervention. The destructive potential of modern warfare, encourages all responsible humans, to pursue alternatives to settling national and large-scale disputes, without resorting to military action or armed force. These UN reform suggestions are informally outlined in a document titled, How to End All Wars, which was submitted to the Norwegian Nobel Institute in June of 2018, and is pending nomination in order to be considered for the Nobel Peace Prize. Number 5. Protecting All Racial Minority Groups. Tereno Beckford will attend to the concerns of racial minority groups, by establishing geopolitical alliances that see disenfranchised racial groups, integrate into a global coalition of interdependent racial alliances. This will become the leverage for discouraging racism and discrimination, as racial minority groups will be in a position to deliver crippling sanctions on racist governments and organizations alike, who perpetuate the antiquated view of racial separatism. This quote from Marcus Garvey, best shows the moral responsibility expected from such alliances. Number 6. Advancing and Popularizing Automation. Tereno Beckford will promote and facilitate the rapid development of technology related to automation, so that humans can be freed from the servitude of most forms of labor, and be able to pursue much higher endeavors. Tereno Beckford will also develop a welfare system, to care for the increasingly unemployed global population, so that they can sustain themselves while adjusting to a world where only certain expertise are required. In a world where machines do most of the work, and create material abundance, all humans can have equal access to the resources of the world. In other words, everyone can eventually have access to food and housing. Additionally, in order to become career compatible to this new socio-economic paradigm, the people will be encouraged to prioritize science and technology during their academic pursuits, so that they can aspire to professions which contribute to the continued development of automation, and the other relevant professions. Number 7. Establishing a Universal Standard for Refugees Asylum. Tereno Beckford will pioneer the structuring of policies at the United Nations level, 
to address the global refugee crisis, so that there exist a standard criteria for universal refugee asylum. Additionally, Terreno Beckford will encourage the international community to intervene in unstable countries and reinforce stability in order to prevent the major cause of mass migration. Number 8. Enhancing Waste Management and Recycling. Terreno Beckford will assemble the relevant experts to formulate methods of properly disposing of non-recyclable solid waste, nuclear waste, and other hazardous waste materials that are detrimental to the planet's capacity to sustain organic life. This will prevent the planet from becoming overwhelmed with toxic waste. What many people don't realize is that there is no sustainable method of disposing any form of waste material that lacks reusability or any practical application. People either dump waste in landfills in remote locations are directly in the ocean. This method is clearly unsustainable for obvious reasons, and therefore, our primitive waste management strategies are in fact, a critical issue that is wreaking havoc on the natural ecosystems of the world. A temporary solution would be to store hazardous waste materials in outer space until more conclusive solutions can be developed. Additionally, Terreno Beckford will facilitate the advancement of intricate recycling practices in order to salvage every valuable and reusable aspects of disposed waste products, such as obsolete and outdated technology, so that the global waste output is contained and non-renewable resources can be better preserved. Furthermore, he will promote the repairing of damaged products such as gadgets and appliances as another means of preventing unnecessary waste and containing the expansion of our global garbage output. Number 9. Wildlife Conservation and Protection Laws. Terreno Beckford will introduce a resolution to the United Nations to require all countries to select at least one endangered species and rehabilitate its population to survivable numbers. The destructive impact that humans have had on wildlife, especially since the Industrial Revolution, can only be described as genocidal and apocalyptic. This objective is not just a guilt-inspired gesture, but a very pragmatic endeavor because there are animal and plant life that are critically important to the continued survival of our species, many of which are currently endangered, or even on the brink of extinction. And although your everyday politicians are the least concerned by a problem that experts have been waving red flags about for decades now, you should be personally concerned for the welfare of the endangered flora and fauna which inhabit our planet, not simply because we'll go extinct if we don't, but because it's the right thing to do. Since it's impractical to promote animal conservation, Without first preventing humans from unnecessarily killing animals, Terreno Beckford will introduce a resolution to the United Nations to require nations to pass modern animal protection laws, which will criminalize all forms of recreational hunting and any form of violence towards animals that is not triggered by necessity. Reinforcing the value of the sanctity of the lives of animals in the form of strictly enforceable legislation is in fact another prerequisite for meeting the criteria of a modern civilization. In simple terms, we aren't civilized until we implement and enforce modern animal protection laws. Just as how we aren't considered to be civilized until we develop an abundance of food, the most basic of all necessities. Number 10. Achieving universal access to education. Terreno Beckford will champion the cause for universal access to education. Increased access to education is one of the most effective methods of advancing any nation and the welfare of the human race in general. Therefore, with that fact in mind, it's not hard to see education becoming free and accessible to all, and although this vision will not be achieved overnight, nobody can possibly deny the immense utilitarian value of having universal access to primary, secondary, and tertiary education. This policy will play a central role in getting people to become career compatible to the job market after the automation revolution. Additionally, Terreno Beckford intends on encouraging the United Nations to sanction countries that limit women's access to education. Regardless of culture or religion, there is a universally applied moral standard, which dictates that such a worldview is both sexist and a blatant violation of basic human rights. The reality is that, poverty can be eliminated within a generation through universal access to education, and therefore, governments and policymakers alike must structure a long-term framework which will eventually facilitate free education for all. If you like these plans, then get to know more about Terreno Beckford and his intentions to represent the people as head of state of Jamaica. Please like and share this video and make it your next conversation topic with family, friends, and like-minded individuals. And if you haven't already, then please consider following this page. Your support is what will turn these ideas into a reality. Thank you for watching this presentation and have a rewarding new year.